Hey guys, just wanted to uh, go over our planter a little bit. Seems like we always get, you know, comments, you know, asking questions about it. So I just thought I would touch on a few things with it. It's a uh, John Deere 1760 conservation frame. It's eight row with a wing fold. So that's like, um, you can get hydraulic fold, but you know, this is just manual. So it's like you unlock that and then you fold out the rows and just push them back in when you're done. And they lock back in place. It's a vacuum. So like you can, the vacuum pump is back there and we have liquid fertilizer. So that's been pretty nice. A lot less uh, handling than if you had a dry fertilizer seems like with dry fertilizer it's like we're constantly you know refilling the planter so with this it's a lot less handling so that's nice so like here's the lines for the liquid fertilizer it has two uh, 150 gallon tanks and it just comes down here and then it's like we have a uh, Remco pump and then like a meter and then a, uh, like a gauge where it goes to uh, all eight uh, rows. Um, we already, since we're done planting, we already winterized it. We put in uh, RV antifreeze. We ran that through it, so it should be good for the winter. For the uh, row units themselves, we have, uh, we have like Yetter uh, row cleaners. Um, they seem okay. Um, when we, those are on it when we got it, and we just kept it. Um, it also had uh, a wavy coulter right here when we got it, but we took that off. It seems like uh, wavy coulters are pretty debated in the no-till community, and um, I think that if I were to do no-till, put if I were to put coulters back on it, I would get like one of the really narrow ones. It's like this one was like one of the pretty wide ones and it seems like once we started getting into more like tougher fields for no-till it seemed like the coulter really impacted uh, penetration so we took them off and you have like the regular disc openers the uh, gauge wheels you put scrapers on them and then we have yetter closing wheels. They have like a real low uh, twisted spike on them. When we first started doing no-till, we had like a really, uh, one of like the longer, it had like a much longer spike wheel on it. We had like the spike wheel on one side and then a um, regular round wheel on the other. You could probably see it if you look back on some of the older videos. And um, it seemed like that uh, spiked closing wheel was just like too aggressive. It would, um, like, when you'd be walking down the road, it's like you'd see seeds that were like flicked out because of the closing wheel. Especially like when you were doing no till and you would have the, you know, you'd have like them turned down all the way. It would um, seem like they were just too aggressive, and even if you had them, you know, lined up right, you know, you can adjust the, you know, you can adjust the closing wheels from side to side. You would have them lined up right, and it would still, like, flick seeds out occasionally. Anyways, Dad found these, and um, he's been happy with them so far. They seem to do like a really nice job. Um, like they're not too aggressive, and they still seem to break up the uh, trench some when you're doing no-till. And then we have uh, drag chains on also. Oh, and then we also have a Keaton seed firmers and that's where our fertilizer is put out. One thing uh, people always ask about too is um, the smelt boxes. And uh, these are on it when we got the planter and we uh, never use them once and um, I guess it's something we never really even looked into much or got into so they're kind of just there for decoration at this point. Another thing we got is the heavy the heavy duty uh, down pressure springs 
So these can do like several hundred uh, pounds of down pressure. Well, you know, standard the standard springs are just like you know here, but these got you know these big compression springs, and that really adds a lot. And you have your vacuum lines. Another thing we started doing too, um, if we don't have fertilizer in the tanks when we're doing no-till, we will um, put water in the tanks. So for instance, this uh, last week we were like no-tilling soybeans into rye stubble and we uh, put 150 gallons of water in between the two tanks and um, wait, 150 gallons between both of them and uh, it seemed like it really added a lot for uh, down pressure and you have the yeah the tubes and and then this is where the the drive reel is and you have like the transmission it's like these are so easy and nice to adjust it's like you just pull this back and lock it back and the chain has slack and you can adjust just adjust it to whatever gear you want and then it does have like a high low gear also on the side if you make more adjustments to your uh, population and this is the vacuum pump back here um, one thing a dad did was he um, wanted to he put on this uh, uh, jumper line right there because you're doing some research and I guess it's like better it's a lot easier on the motor to have a line around it for um, when you're starting and stopping the motor. And um, another thing we added was a uh, oil cooler. It seemed like um, that hydraulic oil really heats up when you're running this planter. And um, the previous tractor we were using on it, that tractor like overheated on a hot day one time. So it was kind of one of those things like, okay, we need to um, look into, you know, look into like cooler, coolers and stuff, and that cooler really makes a difference. The tractor we've always been planting with as of late has been the 6420, and it seems like that's a really good matchup for horsepower to uh, implement. It seems like if you were um, if you were to have like a 12 row planter, this tractor could never pull it, but like with an 8 row, it's like the perfect, you know, matchup for it. Like it's not working too hard and it can, um, you know, you can still go through a lot. You know, we added front weights to it. It has the duals. In the cab, we have like the, you know, the old original John Deere uh, 150 monitor. And then for the liquid fertilizer, we have a spray mate uh, monitor. Now, like the uh, like the pump and stuff on the planter, that's like how do I go right to the tractor's battery? But uh, both the uh, the spray mate and the uh, uh, John Deere monitor both uh, run off the cab, 12 volt, and then it also has a uh, GPS attachment for to regulate uh, uh, fertilizer output. Yeah, so otherwise it's been a good planter for the most part. It's nice to have a, a one bigger than the old four row and the six row we used to have. I feel like you can get a lot more done, a lot quicker. So it's been nice. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good day.